has this worked? Hi everyone, I hope this is working. Uh, because Facebook have changed and are doing all this new stuff, I really don't know if I've done this right, but hopefully we are there. So if you can see me, wave, send a comment or something so that I know that it's working. We are going to be painting a rainbow wolf. If you want to sit down there. So this is what we're painting. Well, it's not quite this. We're going to be painting um, a wolf howling at the moon. Oh, hi, Nikki. I can see you. Good. Marvellous. I know that it's all working. Hurrah. So I'll just check and wait for anyone else to arrive. So what you'll need today is anything for creating lots of lovely rainbow colour and um, a pencil, of course, and rubber. I am using an ink pen and watercolours, but you can feel free to use anything to produce lots of colour. So, I'm just going to wait to see if any more people are arriving. Thank you, Nikki, for answering. It's great to know that people are here. And so this is following on from what we were doing during the first lockdown. So during the first lockdown, we had some amazing sessions um, every Saturday at 11 o'clock, uh, producing fantastic rainbow animal pictures. You were just phenomenal last time we were doing this. And we made the lockdown um, album of pictures that I put on Facebook, which I will be doing again. So I'd love it if at the end of this video you could send me your pictures and I'll put them in our special gallery. Um, at the moment I've got a warm dog on my lap as well. He's sort of like a wolf, isn't he? Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Lovely. Right, so I think we can get started. Oh, hi, Becky. Hi, Emily and Chloe. That's brilliant. Lovely to see you all. Okay, so let's get started. So we are going to be producing a wolf howling at the moon. And what we do first of all is we're just going to draw a triangle and I'm going to try and do it dark. Don't necessarily do yours dark, sorry, dog's on the move, um, because you are going to want to cut this out, um, you're going to want to rub this out so that the watercolours show up underneath. But I want to show you the basic shape that we'll be doing, okay? So your wolf is going to fill this kind of area here. Now I'm going to start drawing my wolf in ink so that you can really see it. You can draw yours in, in pencil, um, but this will just make it show up for you so that you know what you're doing. So where we've got the top of our triangle, just beside there, I'm going to draw his nose. Okay, And then we're going to go down along his snout and up where his eye is and follow this profile along to his ear and bring that round okay so that's quite a weird shape at the moment but it will make sense then he's opening his mouth because he's howling and the reason I've chosen a wolf is, as I said in my little video telling you about it, that we have had a really special month last month where we had two full moons and we had a blue moon on Halloween. And I wanted to do something to commemorate that in this very weird year of 2020 with our blue moon. So that's why we have our rainbow wolf calling and howling out to a blue moon. So now I'm going to do a fluffy area coming down here. Coming just inside your triangle. And 
and we'll do the other side of his neck as well down to here he's starting to look more wolf like now and we'll just bring his body down to here and his back can just come out of the triangle but you can see how we start off with a basic shape and then go on from there to create our animals my daughter's sniggering in the background because she says you always say that start off with a basic shape but you do right our wolf has a sticky uppy tooth just in here and I'm just going to bring his mouth around like this and we'll get his eye in now because of the angle that he's at he you can't really see the eye very much and it is quite closed as he goes woo 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 so it's a sort of slit slitty type eye which you can see there okay now I'm going to rub out the pencil lines so that you can see the wolf more clearly there we go <laughs> hi Sean she says hi to Cosmo our dog and hi Nick right so we we'll just get in a little bit within his ear with the ink and I'll just put in a hint of his fluffiness before we get onto the paint so I'm just doing these little marks with the pen because they have these amazing thick necks don't they with lots of fluff so we'll just get in some little fluffy marks which you can have fun with with your pen and a little bit down here because he is a fluffy animal okay so now for the moon what I'm using is a glass and I'm going to pop it just here because we've got this nice space within our composition and I'll go round it with my ink pen to draw it out Hmm. wasn't very well drawn but that will do okay so he's going woo 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 now we're on to the paint so now we're going to do lots of rainbow colours because we are doing rainbow animals aren't we so first of all I'm going to fill the wolf as I'm using watercolour I'm going to fill it with water first of all so I'm going around inside these edges all the way down because once we've put the water in and then we add watercolour to this water it will all merge beautifully so get your water on your watercolour paper I have stretched this paper stretching means keeping the paper straight so when there's when water goes onto paper it goes all cockled so this way it stops the paper from staying cockled it will stretch it and keep it nice and straight that's just a little tip for watercolour people so I'm going to start with red because that is the first colour of the rainbow and we'll start at the top here and we're going to add all the colours of the rainbow This brings back memories, doesn't it, from a few months ago. I hope you at least all had a good summer. Right, so we've done red to orange, then yellow. Alice is doing lots of rubbing out, which is jogging. <laughs> it's all right. 
I've got my two children here painting with us today, so they'll be showing their pictures in a minute. Looking at me with horror. <laughs> and down to green. Hi Nim, I can see you there. Nice to see you. Okay, and blue. And this is where I mean that they all just merge nicely in together. If I hadn't put the water on there first, then we would have got lots of hard lines. So. This is all merging. I can hear the children whispering. What are you whispering about? He's asking what colour he needs to go. What's that some paint? Because there's blue to paint to that. Okay. Um, then we'll go for Richard of York gave battle in indigo. That's a nice colour, isn't it? in vein. So violet. Now violet, I'm going to do a sort of pinky purple down at the bottom. Marvellous. Let's make that a bit more pinky. Okay. Can we hear some wolf Noises? Mm. No, they've gone shy. Oh, we were doing loads of wolf noises before. What was that, Alice? <laughs> <laughs> right, now we're going to get the blue moon in. Okay, so I've got a nice light blue. This is like a turquoise blue. And I am going to fill it with this colour. But then I might add some blues within there as well. So just Filling this moon. Hi Amber, nice to see you. Right, let's get that moon in. And I'm going to add some blue within the blue. Because the moon is all mottled, isn't it? It's got these wonderful mottly effects and now I've got my blue watercolour on there when I add other colour to it or other shades to it it all splays out and looks all mottled like the moon now I've only got moon songs in my head Can you think of a moon song, kids? Mm. They're being so quiet today. I'm only on the um, yellow eye slipped orange. I know, I am going a bit fast, aren't I? I need some kitchen roll. Sorry, Alice. You can catch up yeah. on... Everyone can catch up later if they want to, because it will be on Facebook Live, and I'll put it on my YouTube as well. Right, there we are. Now, while that's drying, I am actually going to add a little bit more at the top here to make some of these colours really go ping, because that is the lovely thing with watercolour. People think that watercolour is wishy-washy. It's really not. If you use it like this, you can get some lovely punchy effects because you're just adding layers on top of layers. So he's got a bit of a red nose at the moment. That's how I felt a few weeks ago when the schools went back and the kids brought home colds. And just go over this orange because I want those to be really strong and contrasting against the blue moon. Oh, Janice, thank you. You're putting moon songs in my head. 
You can join in. I don't know the tune. I don't know anything. I'm sure you're all joining in at home. There we go. Nice bright colour. And I know loads of you enjoy doing splatter. So let's get some colourful splatter in there as well. And make him a joyful wolf. So you put some colour on your brush. Hold it with one hand and just hit it with the other. Now just one thing before I do it. Make sure that you have got things covering areas. Um, I had a mum say to me yesterday, we were doing um, online fireworks in our Zoom classes this week and um, a, a girl managed to get loads of splatter all over her new computer. So just be aware of what's around you before we splatter. I just have to get that in there because then I can say I warned you. Right, splatter. There we go. And let's get some other colours of splatter in there. You're quite comfortable there, Cosmo. Let's get some of this lovely purpley colour. You're not making my job easy, mister. There we go. Purple splatter down here. And some good measure. Let's get some blue splatter around the moon. <laughs> Janice says, Cosmo, watch out. You may no longer be this colour. There we go. Blue splatter around the moon. <laughs> He's getting down now. He's bored. Go on then. Doesn't know where to go because you're there. Does he? <laughs> Jamie got splatter on Alice's. Hi, Helen. You and Emily can catch up. I know Emily's a fast painter. Right, so while I'm at it, this area has dried a bit. So I just want to, with my black pen, emphasise the mouth a little more. So that we can see that tooth. You don't have to put the tooth in, but I just think that adds to the wolfy feel. With a wolfish grin. Yeah, with a wolfish grin. Quite right, Alice. And I'll just get a little bit more in for his nose. And a few dots. And whiskers. Oh, bless you, Cosmo. He's sneezing now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, okay, as he's making that noise, let's try and get an effect of something coming out of his mouth. You know when it's really cold and we were making smoke, weren't we, on the school run a couple of days ago um, by just breathing. So let's try and get that effect. So I am literally going to use some water with a faint bit of colour on and... Some of that splatters there, so it's just adding to it. And I'll just do a subtle effect of it coming out of his mouth so that we know that he's howling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I must stop saying woo, woo, woo. Ooh. Hi, wonky Oscar. Oh, wonky Oscar. I'm sorry. Oscar's wonky because he's hurt his leg very badly. He's been very brave. Right, so there's the air coming out of the mouth and I may use some of that colour from the moon just in the middle for it to then subtly come out into the water around. There we go. <laughs> Sean says don't stop the woo-woos. Oh, now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> There we go. That is pretty much it. I won't go on and on because I need to know when to stop with these things. That is my main problem. Oh, Alice, I love it. Can I show yours? I know you haven't finished. Um, I just want to quickly do that. I just want to quickly. Jamie, can I show yours? Pass it over. I'm getting splattered. I know. Look at all this splatter everywhere. Don't show Dad. Right, let's have a look. <laughs> Dad's listening. I hope he's not listening. Splatter. 
Right, this is Jamie's. This is my son Jamie. Whoa. What? Turn it over. Turn it over. Um, now, because I'm a few seconds behind, I can't see if you can see that. There we go. Oh, it's... There we go. Let me just bring that down. And I'm going to turn it round because you can't really... There we go. Now you can see it. Whoa, I absolutely love that. I love the colours. I love the way the watercolours all graded into each other. That's fantastic. Well done. <laughs> Keep it straight so it doesn't all run. And then this is Alice's. You can see my rubber oh, with the rubber on. Going, whoo! Oh, I'm doing it again. And let's turn it that way so you can see because the camera's in the wrong place for me. There we go. Look at those colours. Marvellous. Are you going to do splatter? I don't know. Oh, I don't Half know. Time. Okay. We'll see if Dad lets you. Yeah. There you go. So enjoy, everybody. And remember that you can catch up with this on Facebook later. I'll also put it on my YouTube channel. Um, thank you, Karen. Um, I'll put it on my YouTube channel. And um, I will probably find a way to get it up on my website as well, which is animalartist.biz. So well done, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for the comments. It's good to know that you're there. And when you've finished, send me photos of your pictures and I will put them in our Lockdown Mark II Rainbow Animal Wonderful Gallery and we'll start it all again. So well done, everyone. And I'll look forward to seeing all your beautiful creations. Take care. Bye.